Hello and welcome. This is Mouse Gunner, and if you're joining me on YouTube, this is a live stream. So if I am interacting with chat or otherwise distracted, that's par for the course. As I already kind of explained uh, to my stream audience, I've got a little bit of time in this game, enough to understand the basic concepts of it. In particular, I'm, the gray area is more in the campaign uh, and the way it works itself. Uh, I am a veteran of the war game series. I have played the original Steel Division, so the game mechanic wise, I'm a little bit more there, although there definitely are differences from Steel Division 1 to Steel Division 2. One of the big ones being now we have a more fleshed out campaign like the old war game series, which I am very excited for, which is why I'm covering it. Uh, but in any case, uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Now, as far as the campaigns, there is a DLC that I did not pick up yet. Um, but we're doing the Army General, which is the more full campaign. And the one I'm going to do is the one I've already looked at a little bit is uh, uh, Bob Rusk. Um, we're going to do that one. And uh, hopefully I pronounced that right, Bob Rusk. Um, but in any case, uh, we'll, we'll do this one. And uh, first off, this is a little less complex. But this is the complexity indicator, the number of symbols here. But also, I've done it before. Uh, a little bit, so I kind of have an idea what the objectives are and stuff. But let's go ahead and hit uh, select, and I'll let the cinematic play out for you. Oh, yeah. I'm also going to do the default here. Uh, I'm going to play playing as the Soviet side, and I will be facing against the uh, German commander that is AI, and I'm going to leave them on medium setting. I think I can handle medium, um, but you can switch sides if you want. You just hit this button here, and you switch, like so. But we're not going to do that. We're going to play as the side that is default. And I'd like to experience both sides, honestly. So we'll start off as the Soviets and we'll go from there. On June 24th, General Rokossovsky's 1st Belarusian Front launches a two-pronged attack against the German 9th Army. The next day, both Soviet attacks have achieved a breakthrough and are inserting armored units to exploit them. By June 27th, half a dozen German divisions are about to be trapped in Fortress Babruisk by Hitler's order to defend the city to the last man. Yet, the next morning, he reluctantly authorizes most forces but the garrison to break out and reach friendly lines near Marina Gorka where the 12th Panzer Division is starting to arrive to help the Babruisker from outside the ring. By then, the two Soviet prongs are about to meet behind Babruisk. Every hour counts, both for the besieged to break out and the besieger to tighten the trap. All right. That's the at the first tone. Belarusian front's offensive against the southern flank of the army group center has broken through the German lines on both sides of Babruisk. All right. So uh, I missed what. Yeah. So these are the two guys that we've encircled right here. Uh, Remnants from the 35th Corps and 41st Panzer Corps are surrounded within the city. When Hitler finally authorized the garrison to attempt to break out and return to friendly lines, the front line had moved 40 kilometers, held only by a weak screen of security units. However, the Germans have dispatched the 12th Panzer Division piecemeal to Marina Gorka to meet the Babrusters halfway. The Soviets' 9th Tank Corps and 1st Guards Tank Corps are doing their best to reinforce their thin cordon of troops who intend to keep the Germans encircled. Your objective is to capture and hold Marina Gorka in order to completely seal the pocket and deny the fascist any possibility to save the Babruisk garrison. And Iggy, you're welcome to mess with me in chat. And look at this handsome face. I think this is supposed to be us. That's a handsome guy right there. Beware of the latter. Even mauled, 20th Panzer still has claws and might attempt a breakout in your rear. Okay, they get to go first. So we see them moving. Okay, so they already attacked me on their turn. So the campaign uh, map, which we're on right now, is turn-based. They got the first turn. We're going to follow them up. But when we get into combat, it will be real time. So uh, it, it's pretty much two game modes here. 
So, because they attack me, they attack me here. So, we have this partisan group. Unfortunately, I can't really select their units, but I can get an idea of who is involved in this fight. So, we have a recon panzer battalion. We have a tank group that could potentially be in here. We have a, I'm going to guess, a regiment of infantry and an artillery group. But the way that the combat works in the RTS mode, and I can move my face now because we don't have subtitles. So let me grab that and put it over in the lower left because from here on out, it's going to be important for me to be in the lower left because other interface things will be on the right and stuff. Although I, I, I'll have menus that pop up here. Maybe lower right for right now. There's going to be interface all over the place. So I'm going to have to move my face around quite a bit. But once we get into the actual combat, I think lower left will be all right. Um, but in any case... Uh, we have to have the Parsons involved because that's who got attacked. But when we get into the RTS mode, there's going to be phases, A, B, and C. During the A phase, only units that, are, that can be deployed during, the, during A can be deployed. They, but A can also be deployed during B and C, uh, and so on. So, like, for example, in the first phase of the combat, only this unit on the enemy side could be involved. Uh, once we get into B, which would be the next phase, then the tank group or the uh, infantry regiment here the motorized regiment could get involved. On the C phase, potentially this artillery group could be involved as well. I think the asterisk means that they're off map. Not 100% on that. Uh, as far as our side goes, now there's, there could be aircraft that we can't see because I can't see everything. There is there is uh, fog of war here. Uh, but we see over here on my side, um, we've got some aircraft and they have the little asterisk. So... Uh, these are things that are going to come off the map, and these could get involved in our A phase, and we'll probably use these guys. But on our side, we have the Parsons. Those have to be in it. So if we look at the Parsons by clicking on them, we can see what the composition of the units are. So they're going to give this... Uh, we've got a number of things here. I think... Available actions per turn. Then I'm not 100% sure, but the little number here, the three, that's how many action points we currently have. Um, status, they are deployed, so that means we're set up in a defensive position, which we'll give us a little bit of advantage. Although this is a meeting engagement, so not really too much of a, meet, uh, a defensive thing. But we do have a, a combat strength that they have assigned us based off of what units are involved right now, and it's only three. Now, we don't know what our enemy has. I have no way of clicking on them and knowing. Yeah, I click on them, nothing pops up. So I have no way of knowing what their strength's going to be. I have to kind of guess, make a best guess here. Um... But then we can see the breakdown down of the actual units. So uh, they also give you numbers here. So we've got uh, 37 units, an idea of their quality. Pretty low, they're partisans. Uh, we have a couple armored vehicles, and we have apparently what is considered a support. We'll see what, what all is probably that. I'm going to guess the mortars are your support. Um, our first unit here is, is Kamradi, which as far as I understand, well, it says right here, is a leader group. Uh, leader will give command to other units that are in the vicinity of them, which is good. You also see stars. This is how experienced the unit is. The more stars they have, the more experienced they are. Um, well, you can see some stats about them. So it's going to be a five-man squad. Two of them have Papa Shaw little submachine guns, uh, and then three of them will have Mosins. You can see some little bit of information here. So we have the accuracy of the weapon, how much... Uh, suppression it will do how much damage it will do uh what is its range all that kind of stuff so like the submachine gun here only has a range of 100 meters so very close range but it puts out a lot of firepower so if we get it within that 100 meters it's it's going to be pretty devastating but again it's a five-man squad this is a, a leader uh group not really meant to be a frontline unit and then we have three motions which have five meter range 500 meter range but they don't suppress as much it looks like they do about the same blast is blast damage Indicates the area effect by the impact of the round. The higher the HE value and the closer it stands from the point of impact, the higher the physical and suppre uh, suppression the target will receive. So I guess it's kind of like the damage value. Or no, it's the area effect, it says. Okay. So this is your damage. This is your area effect. So yeah, this is much more damaging with the 16 suppression than this with 6. But it's longer range. And then we also have a smoke grenade, which we can throw out to provide cover for ourselves if we need it. Other things. We have mortars. Uh, this is a 50 millimeter mortar. Uh, it has both HE shells and smoke shells. So again, we can provide ourselves cover if we need it. Uh, we have uh, all the different information here, its range and what have you, uh, and so on. Uh, we've got a little sniper uh, person here. So this is just a one man little group with a sniper rifle, thousand meter range, just plink away at guys. But it also acts as a 
recon unit in a way because very good optics also very stealthy uh so it'll be hard to see but granted as this unit pops off shots they will reveal themselves so that kind of plays into it as well we have a, another commander now i think commanders are like above leaders but again that's a thing that's new to this game and i'll have to kind of get an idea for we have a anti-tank team. Now, this is an anti-tank rifle, so not particularly good. Um, what is its armor penetration and capability? It can punch through 35 millimeters of armor. So it'll be good for knocking out armored cars if we have to, but a tank probably won't be very effective unless we get a really good shot on it, probably in the rear. And then we have uh, a submachine gun as a backup and some smoke grenades. Uh, we have a uh, MG42, so captured MG42 from the Germans, because it's a partisan group, probably some of these weapons are captured. Uh, 1,500 meter range, and it's a machine gun. Yeah, I think you guys get the idea. Then we have two little groups, so we have a leader, and the numbers that we have over in the upper left here is how many we have. So the like two, 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 uh, one, two, two, one, just one leader. Uh, four. Now, this is where we're getting into our actual rifle squads. So, this is actually a pretty good one. Uh, pretty modern weapons. So, SVT-40s is a semi-automatic rifle. And then a DP a machine gun, light machine gun. But it's only a six-man squad. So, it's kind of a small squad. And then we have the more of the uh, Partizani. Uh, and this is a bigger squad, but kind of lower tech weapons. So we've got a couple of submachine guns, uh, 10 Nagants. So this is a 12-man squad, twice as big. And then just some uh, Molotov cocktails to throw at the enemy. If they're within 100 meters, we can toss these at them and probably burn them out. Be effective against infantry and maybe some uh, armored cars with open tops. And the same thing down below. Same type of squads. Partizani with uh, DP here. DP being the uh, so the light machine gun, and then just standard Partizani. So that's our Partisan group. The other group we're going to add in here, so we're going to click No Battalion Engage. We're going to click this unit, and we have now added, added that in. So we now have two units that can deploy on A, but we also have three units that can deploy on C. I don't think we should do that, though, because I have a feeling the enemy is going to deploy aircraft against us, but we don't want to have... Uh, as far as I know, we probably don't have very much strength anti-aircraft wise, so we probably should bring some aircraft in to cover us in case the enemy brings aircraft in to, to attack us. Um, as far as what we have here, let's just go over it very quickly. We have command vehicle. We have uh, three recon squads. This is a pretty good recon squad. It's, it's uh, big strength, eight strength. That does mean that they won't be as stealthy, and that's one of the things that oftentimes you want with a recon squad. But one advantage we have is they have a bazooka, which is a very good anti-tank weapon. I'm sorry if you can't really see the stats on that. Uh, just take my word for it. It has anti-tank capability. Uh, then we have some supply trucks. This is going to be good to uh, reload your artillery and things like that. Also repair vehicles. Uh, we have Kamarati, which is our leader. Uh, we have a heavy machine gun, two of those. We have nine Avtomachiki. I'm sure I butchered that, but I tried my best. 11-man squad, they've got 10 of those submachine guns. So if we can get these within 100 meters, they will be devastating. We've got a uh, light machine gun and then an anti-tank grenade. Fairly close range. We have to be within 100 meters, which is really close for a tank. Uh, but it does give you a little bit of AP value. I don't know how good it will be. It says armored penetration of 300 millimeters, which is really good. So I would imagine that would kill most tanks. Um, you just need to be nice and close to hurl. The, you're literally hurling your grenade. Um, then we have another Camarade here uh, with SVTs. We have uh, Gavardia, which looks like pretty standard infantry, two submachine guns, eight uh, Mosin Nagant rifles, and a light machine gun. And what else we got? We also have the anti-tank grenades. We've got another uh, two heavy machine guns down here. We have and another thing that's pretty important is the vehicle that's, that these, these guys are being uh, transported in. So uh, the Resveca are being transported in an armored personnel carrier. It doesn't have a gun, so it'll disappear when it deploys. But the Avtomachiki, they have uh, M3A1 armored cars with 50 caliber machine guns. So you get some nice supporting fire. And these are armored cars with 20 millimeter ar frontal armor. So it could, it could uh, survive light fire. Now, those anti-tank rifles we saw the Parsons have would, would knock an armored car like this out, though. Okay, so uh, I left off on the uh, anti-tank guns. We, so we have um, two 45mm anti-tank guns. Can punch through 100 millimeters of armor. Again, you can't see that, but just take my word for it. That's what it says. At 2,000 meters. 
We have some anti-aircraft guns. Uh, looks like those are 50 cals. Oh, that's a uh, Lend-Lease, I think. We have quite a bit of Lend-Lease stuff here. Um, we have a leader. And then we have a mortar team, 82 millimeter mortar. So those are the two squads that we're using. And I know that's a lot of information to absorb, but I feel like it's important to go over it. So I think the last thing I can check here, because I can only send three units in, I'm going to go ahead and uh, send some of my aircraft. Now, what aircraft I have, I have two uh, bomber groups and I have a fighter group. I'm going to bring the fighter group in because I want to have air cover in case the enemy sends aircraft against me. So we're going to grab this. And as far as the aircraft goes, we have uh, three Yak-1Bs, which have uh, Shavak, uh, which uh, I talked about doing with this. Uh, it's a very fast firing 7.62 by 54R, uh, the ammunition is that. Uh, very fast firing uh, machine gun. And then we have a 50 cal. Oh, I'm mistaken. That's a 20, 20, 20 millimeter. Ignore me. A 20 millimeter cannon and a, and a 50 caliber uh, machine gun. So two guns for that. Um, so that's a fighter. We've got a fighter bomber, which is a Yak-1B, which is just a couple uh, 50 kilogram bombs. Looks like uh, mostly Yak-1Bs. Ah, we've got a Yak-7B, which has a couple extra. It has an extra 50 cal, looks like. Yeah. What's the speed? Um, speed, 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 speed. 580 kilometers an hour versus 570. So it's a little faster, too. Um, the fighter bomber is only 510. And then we've got a Yak-9, which again has a 20 millimeter and a 50 cal. Uh, 580 kilometers at a, uh, an hour. Agility, very good. Optics, good. Resilience, bad. Okay. So it looks like uh, optics is the main thing that the Yak-9 has over the Yak-7B. And... Yeah. Mostly agility looks like it's very good across the board, except for the fighter bomber, which is um, just good. All right, so that's all the, the things that we have. We're going to go ahead and select no battalion engage, and we're going to select the fighter regiment. So those are our three. They're all A, but honestly, as much as I could engage with a C, um, they're not going to come until very late. And I think we're better off having the fighter coverage. And uh, really, my goal with this is not necessarily to hold our ground. I'd like to hold our ground. Um, but it's really just to inflict casualties on the enemy and slow them down. Hopefully, they don't send the tanks against me because I don't have a lot to fight those off. I had a couple anti-tank guns, but that's it. So, fingers crossed we're okay there. But let's go ahead and do a tactical battle. We might not win this one, but we're going to do our best. So now we get to see, I wish this wasn't here. There's a, there's some rough edges for this game still, this being one of them. Um, but these are our groups, and I can pick whether they're player controlled or AI controlled. I'm going to go player across the board here. Um, for some reason, this... Oh, these have to be in, I think, or something. I'm not really sure what all that means. Um, drag and drop companies if necessary. Oh, we can switch where they are. Interesting. Well, we're not going to do that. Um, but yeah, so we're going to control all of the units involved. Um, another thing I didn't show is it, it, it breaks down how many points you have are, have available for the battle and how many you could potentially use. We were well under how much we, we can use. So we'll have plenty of points to spare at the end. So what we might want to do is flood units early on, get a nice defensive position, and just try and hold it and inflict as many casualties as we can. If the enemy sends in a lot of tanks, we're going to be in trouble um, because we don't have a lot of anti-tank capability. I mean, as much as we have a fighter bomber, it could maybe cause the tank a little bit of anxiety, suppression. But 50 kilogram bombs is going to knock out a tank anytime soon. All right, let's go ahead and start the battle. Now, you can uh, automate a lot of this stuff, if you so choose. You can just auto-resolve it. And there's another one that's a semi-auto-resolve. I haven't tried that one yet. But apparently, you get to pick what units get deployed on a given phase. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and move my face over to this corner now. So you guys can see a lot of the interface. You won't be able to see the fighters. The fighters will be where my face is right now. You know what? Maybe put myself right there. I'll, I'll play around with my face and like what's what it's going to be covering up. 
and we'll play it by ear, more or less. But there's going to be some interface stuff here. Uh, definitely going to be some interface stuff over, over here. There's the map up here. But right now we're in the deploy phase. So we deploy. We have 60 points to deploy with. And we're going to get 9 points a minute. So every minute we're going to get an extra 9 points to deploy. Uh, we can deploy. Oh, it looks like it did give us a defensive position. Because we can deploy all the way up to here. Whereas the enemy can only deploy in this little blue zone here. So we've got a little bit of an advantage. And we're going to try and take it. Now, the important thing here with this mode is you have to have these objectives, right? All these red flags uh, to win. Now, we're going to start off having all the flags and the enemy is going to be at a point deficit. And it's going to be up to them to push through here and take that away from us. So we've got the partisans here. Let's go ahead and click that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got the, we got the partisans, we got the uh, motorized rifle battalion, and we got the fighters all broken out into their own categories. So let's say we want to start with the rifle battalion because that's going to be higher quality units. Um, so then we have the actual company. So we have our recon squads, which we will want to put out. Uh, we're going to want to put them along the roads if we can because they've got bazookas that we could probably knock out the enemy with. Um, so let's grab one Ritzveka here. And we're going to put them in the woods here to hold this point. But we also have this important road here. So we're going to deploy these guys in the woods, have them sit here. I'll probably put them on uh, return fire. Uh, what that does is they don't return fire unless fired upon. And if we see a tank roll up that gets within range, because they've got good stealth. Um, if they get within range, we'll turn off that, that return fire and open fire on, on the tank and blow them up with the, with the bazooka. The bazookas are going to be pretty important for us to try and knock out those tanks with. All right, so I see that this this uh, road is going to be pretty important. Uh, the enemy can deploy here, here, and it, it kind of moves in on this choke point in here. So maybe get some guys in the buildings here. Uh, maybe a scout here as well. So, oh, these Ritzvekas are pretty expensive. No, 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 they're not. I, I apologize. We have two of them. They cost one point apiece. So they're not that expensive. So we have two more to play with. I'm going to put another one. Uh, so we got a group of buildings here, I think. Let me double check that. Yeah, so we can put them in this building. And this would be a good point to ambush. If, the, if a tank tries to roll by here, we can hit them. We'll probably put another normal infantry squad to go in this building to hold that down. Although, we could also go up into these buildings up here too to try and hold a little further up. But we're going to try and prevent them from getting over here because they have to go across this bridge to get to this point. So if we can hold the bridge here, we're good. So the bridges are going to be very key points for us. So... We kind of have this guy covering this road. We have this guy covering this road and potentially this road, depending. Um, it's a little bit more open over here, so I figure our anti-tank gun would probably want we want to put them in here so we could hit this road and this road. Is what I'm thinking. Maybe put both of our anti-tank guns over here. I'm gonna have to check sight lines, like to see how, how where we'd have to be to get the best. Maybe like somewhere in there. Because we'd be able to see this road very well, and then we'd be able to see this part. But we're not really, like, exposed to too far range. Because our maximum range with those um, 45mm guns was 2,000, I believe. So we can reach all the way up to this, this building right here. Um, while I'm thinking of that, we might as well do it. So where is the anti-tank gun? It should be a support group, right? So we got four of these bad boys. So we're going to put one... Um, now, they come in a car, and we'll offload them, but we'll put one here, and then we'll offload them and put them to the woods here. And then we'll have them keep an eye on this road. Uh, let's just double check that. Yeah, we also want them to be able to hit this road, and then as they come across, hit this area or this area. That's, that's what we're setting these guys up for. Um, I want another one, like, in here. So we have kind of a crossfire going. These guys are two points apiece, but I think it's pretty important in this area where we have a lot of open ground to try and knock out their tanks because I figure their tanks are going to come in this area. Our infantry can hold down um, the, the villages and stuff like that. Um, let's go back up here. We've got one more Ritzveka. Um, So we're worried about this road and this road. So I figure we've got probably a building group here. Yeah, we can be right here. Bazooka could hit them as they come down this road or hit them as they come down this road. So we've got both areas covered with our bazooka. So I think we're good from the armored 
side of things. And we could always reinforce. I mean, we have a lot of points to work with. Um, but I think this is a good baseline for covering a lot of the areas. We got a recon out so we can see things. Uh, and we've got our anti-tank guns in areas I think are pretty important to cover. I still have two more anti-tank guns too. So I might put one in here, perhaps, because we got all this open ground here. Um, but in any case, let's take a look at skinning some actual infantry. So we've got the uh, heavy machine guns. Probably really want to deploy some of these. Um, as these will get, get us good suppression. Um, but I actually probably want to go with the Partisans on this uh, front because the Partisans have the uh, MG42, right? Where was that? Ah, we have two of these guys. And the MG42 it reaches out to 1,500 meters. Very long range. So that'd probably be a good one to set up. We also have this... Uh, Sniper, we have two of these snipers that we would want to use. They also have a uh, thousand meter range. Pretty good. They should be very stealthy. Um, where would be a good place to put those MG42s? Um, maybe over here? This 1500 meters covers a lot of that ground. So we'll put one in here. We'll probably put an anti-tank gun in here too. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that while I'm thinking about it. So we'll do one more anti-tank gun. I'll use the other one in reserve. But the anti-tank gun I'm probably going to move up into this wood uh, eventually. And we'll hold this area down because that's like a really good sight line. We're going to probably want to put leaders nearby the anti-tank guns to give them extra experience. Um, but we'll play that by ear. I mean, we've got a leader right here if we want to use them. Um, all right. We also have mortars and stuff. I might not deploy those until later. We also have anti-aircraft guns, which we may want to deploy. They're only one point apiece. And they'll put down a hell of a lot of suppression for us. 50 cals, four of them. Um, that will hurt. <laughs> and they reach out to 1,800 meters. So that'll be a lot of suppression. They're just, they're lightly armored, so we have to be careful in that regard. Okay, so we got one MG42. Uh, did I not put it down? Oh, I put one over here. Oh, th yeah, this is the Red Zvecca. Um, do I want a... Because uh, the Red Zvecca I may put here. Would an MG42 in the wood here be good? That seems to cover a lot of this area. I don't see a reason why not. Let's get, like, good value out of these MG42s. So I'll put one in here. Although, potentially, we could put it over here. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's move that sucker. Let's move him over here. Let's put him... Where are you going, buddy? Let's put him in the woods here. Let's see if that covers much. Not yet. Like, maybe there we cover both roads. The only problem is uh, infantry coming in here might be a problem for us, but we could put more infantry in here just to, to help hold them down. I mean, they're going to have a 500 meters of open ground to, to face check a uh, MG42. I think that sounds pretty good to me. Um, all right. So we still have a lot of points to left over. Jeez. Um... Let's I think I want these guys in this village where we can kind of like be a little bit more certain of those close range engagements. Um, and they also have the anti-tank grenade, so if the tanks get too close, we can mess them up. So I'm going to put uh, one here. I'm going to put... Um, yeah, let's back up our our squad here. As a matter of fact, I may even want to put a couple of those guys in this, in this area to, like, hold this area down. So, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and put them on this road, and we're going to move into here. It's not that far to travel. 
And if these guys get in that close range engagement, that's where they're going to excel. So we're going to put two squads in here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give them a command too. So we got some nice command going for them. We're going to want command for um, a lot of our... Yeah, leaders. I want to want leaders to help us with like our our anti-tank guns. So I'm gonna grab the partisan guy here. Put him there. Actually, what are the leaders like in my other groups? It's all one star stuff, right? Yeah. We've got plenty of these uh partisan leaders to deploy for the uh and we just have to keep them within a certain range for them to help the anti-tank guns. So I think these two anti-tank guns are pretty important. Uh, we also have this one over here, so we just need one more. We've got a commander, which I think those add a lot of command. This one also comes with a sniper rifle, which is interesting. Oh, he only costs one point. We'll put him right in this wood here. That way we can, we can provide support for the anti-tank gun and the machine gun. Might even move them up a bit. As a matter of fact, are you guys... You're already infantry, huh? So they can kind of keep an eye over there. Because a thousand meters goes to that village, right? So we, they can snipe guys that are in the village. And they'll provide command to these dudes. So yeah, the machine guns we can deploy exactly where we want them. So let's... Uh, Hang that out a little bit better. I want them to go here. So we'll just move them up. So that's interesting. The Parsons don't come in vehicles. I'll have to keep that in mind. So anybody that is a Parson. I don't mind these guys being a little further back. But we want you to provide me good cover. So move up to there, please. There we go. Good. All right, um, we do also have these anti-tank rifles, which we may want to use. They have 500 meter range, which is not particularly good. I think we put one of these snipers in here because she can provide support if they're in that village because a thousand meters... Like, right in this wood, maybe. A thousand meters will cover all that village. She might get taken out once she gets spotted, but until that happens, I think that's a good spot to put her. And that will provide us extra recon for this, these guys' push. So we got support and recon. Um, we already have a sniper here. Probably want to put infantry in here so they don't just, like, roll down that way. I'll put another sniper right here. Because again, we get the recon, which will help us for our anti-tank gun, seeing what it needs to see. Um, but it will also help put down some fire against any infantry that's moving around here that we see. Um, okay. I think that's a pretty decent setup. We got a lot of our partisans set up. Let's start getting our infantry out. So, we've got these dudes, still. And you're our more normal infantry, right? So, you guys are going to be the ones that we're going to want to have hold certain positions. So, we'll have you be here. Um, we'll have another squad of the Gavardia right there. So, we've got a couple infantry here holding down this road. Uh, we should have infantry support here in case anything happens. Uh, so we'll grab one of those dudes and we'll put them here and we'll have them walk into the woods here. That way we can provide cover. If, if, if they do eventually get infantry over here, we'll have something to cover. And it's good to have the light machine gun uh, and the Mosins where they're going to be at optimum range at 500 meters. So yeah, that's what we're going to do there. Um, now over here we need some infantry. 
So I'm gonna put we probably want to put something in this this little this big building here. So I'm gonna grab you. And I'm also gonna grab you to do this edge here. And remember, these guys have anti-tank grenades, which is good. Um, we do have another commander here, but we'll see about that. Um, I want to grab more more of these uh, Automachiki, Automachiki, um, and we'll probably put them in this building. So when the they get in, they'll be at that hundred meter range. If they move into these buildings, we just can annihilate them. Let's go and grab some more Gvardia here. Um, we'll put them in this wood. And I want another one in this wood to support here. Now we have all this ground over here to cover. Uh, put a Gvardia over here. And another one in this wood. Okay, uh, you're Rudzvecka. Um, do we have command on all our important stuff? So, command on our anti-tank gun. Command on our anti-tank gun there. Command on our anti-tank gun there. Good, good, good. Um, we have a leader going in with these guys. Um, okay. Well, unless we, we set up more... I mean, I could have more heavy machine guns and stuff. Like, we could set one up in here. I mean, 1,200 meters, this would be perfect for that. So sure, we'll set up that there. And I don't have a problem putting a command in this area, although we may want it more in here because I feel like a lot of the fighting is going to be in this area. So let's go grab some more of these dudes. Because I want to put them in the, I think, in the woods so we don't have like an attack coming in there. Although we could put them right in uh, one of these buildings um, as well. As a matter of fact, we could put one guy there and then we could put two that are going to go in the woods to try and clear that out. And then we're going to grab the command, the Marathi, to follow them in. Um, so we're really deploying a lot of our stuff here. What's the range like here? If I go in this building, what about this building? Yeah, I'm not really getting what I want here. I'm trying to look for a good place to put the heavy machine gun, maybe. Like, if these dudes, like, try and come through the woods. This might not be a bad place to, like, put down a machine gun. Put that there. I think we really have some good defense here. I really do. Let's grab some fighters. So... The Yak-9 seem to be the best fighters that we have. So I'm gonna grab two of those. They only cost six points. That gives us a decent start. So we still have 12 points to work with. I mean, I mean, this is a lot of stuff. Um, let's take a look at our partisan, see if there's anything we missed out on. I mean, we still got the uh, anti-tank rifles. I don't know how useful those are going to be. We've got mortars, um, which probably will be useful over um, in the village. What is their range? 540 meters. It's not very long. That's the partisan one. We want... Um, we want the mortars from here. What are they at range? 3,000 meters. That's really good. What? Um, okay, so that should reach everywhere we'd want to fight. So we could put a couple mortars back here. These cost three points apiece. I have to remember I want the anti-aircraft guns too. Um, so we'll put one... In here. We'll put one in this area, which is kind of important to us. I probably should put some infantry in here, too. And we'll put our last one. I kind of want to cover this area. So this area is going to be a little open, and this area is going to be a little open. But we've got this half of the map very well covered with our anti-aircraft guns. Uh, and that will help our... Um, 
our dudes get their, what they need done. Okay, so we need a little bit more infantry to cover this area. So I'm going to put some uh, off to mock cheeky here. Um, maybe also put a heavy machine gun in this wood. So we still got four points to go. So we could do another of the Optimoc Cheeky here. Where would we want to put them? Like, where are we light on the ground right now? I mean, we could continue to do a push in the in the forest. I mean, this is a long, a big area to cover. Probably an important area to cover. We don't have much coverage in this uh, village if they come from down over this way. I mean, honestly, the enemy could push right into here. So you know what? Let's put an opt Optimac Cheeky on this road. In case they... Or in this wood, maybe. Yeah. So if they push down this way and try to get to this point, we could be in this wood and just hit them with our anti-tank uh, grenades or hit them with our submachine guns at close range, perhaps. Um, and we also get the uh, armored car to give us some support, too. Alright, so we still have three points to play with. And again, the mortars here, I think, sound like a good idea. So we're going to grab the another one of these mortars. Or we could grab an anti-tank gun. We don't really have one over here. Or, kind of importantly, we don't have one in here where we thought there might be that armored push, right? So I think we put one in here. And then we'll give them a leader. To give them a little bit of support. I think that's a good start. We got a, we got a couple of aircraft. Uh, we got pretty dense formation of infantry. Uh, all we have to do is really just tell them what we want them to do. So uh, you are going to offload here. Um, you are going to offload here. You guys are going to charge forward, and I'd like you to offload maybe here in that building, and then the second guy uh, is going to charge in and offload in this building. And then our leader, we want to be have fairly close by so they can give command. So we're going to have them offload in this building. It's kind of an aggressive move, so we have to be on our toes with that one. Okay, I think we already covered this guy, yeah. Okay, we're just going to right to left here. Um, so you are meant to cover here, so I'm going to have you offload next to that building. Um, you are on my anti-aircraft. You are meant to cover this building, so just offload next to it. You guys are meant to go in the woods, so... Uh, go there and go there and you are meant to cover them with leader points so offload there um, you are Gavardia and I need you to have good line of sight so let's offload you next to this building here you can occupy that hopefully hold this ground okay, another Gavardia we're going to have you offload near the edge of the wood here that might be an okay spot. Um, you are going to want to cover as much ground as you can. Um, probably offload you. Well, I mean, we'll offload you as close as we can get, and then we'll have you get out. Uh, Rezveka, we would need you to hold the line. As a matter of fact, we might want you to go up here, machine gun. Yeah, so I'm actually going to have you wrap around and offload over here. Um, you are anti-aircraft. I guess you could just move up there. Honestly, that's a good spot where you are. And the Optima Cheeky, I don't want them to be at the edge of the woods because if they draw fire um, when they are at, not at their optimum range, it's not ideal. Although we could move them into this village. I'm not sure how well that would cover us. You know what? F it. Let's do it. Let's have them move to this house. Um, because if they come around here, 
and they don't see us, we could hit them with anti-tank grenades. That's pretty close range. I mean, 100 meters. Maybe we'd get those off. Uh, okay. And did we give you orders? I forget. Yeah, we did. All right. Hey, you are Gavardia. So I would like you to offload right about there. Um, you are my anti-aircraft gun. Yes, yes. Um, you are fine. Um, you are probably fine, although we can move you up a bit. Yeah. I hope I put you in cover. We need to make sure they're in cover. That's probably fine, right there. Okay, you are Gavardia, so we're gonna unload. You know what, just hit the unload button. And then you, uh, I'm gonna probably move you up. It'll take some time, but we'll put you there. Okay, looking good, looking good. Um, the Optima Cheeky is just going to hang out in one of these houses, which we'll put right there. Um, you are Gavardia. And I'm just going to have you unload here and then go in that house. Um, more Ridzveka. I'm going to have offload here. You are going to get into this big building for me. Okay. Are you already in a spot where you can see very well? So just unload. We just need you to be within command range, so we'll figure out what that is once we join. Um, okay, you're already in place. Where do we want you? We want you where you can get the most coverage, which is probably about there, so let's actually move you there. Okay, and then we just tell them to offload. Um, you're good. Again, we just need this guy to be, like, you know, where he's going to get command on everybody. Um, the Gavardia is going to just unload. And then we're walking through the forest. Um, you are going to offload outside this building. And you are going to offload outside this building. Um, and your guys are responsible for covering this area. All right, we went right to left. I think that was everybody. Um, if I missed anybody, we'll find out. Um, let's go ahead and launch the battle. I'm going to go to slow motion so that we can get a little bit of time to make sure everything's going as we had planned. Actually, let's uh, send both of our fighters. Take care of that recon plane. Um, did the things that I told to unload, unload? Where are the things that I told to unload? Like, a, a good example would be, um, the anti-tank gun over on the left side. I told it to unload. It did it. Okay. That's important. We just need to make sure the things that I told to unload, unloaded. Um, and then we need to move them into the position we want them to be in. Uh, you are not quite... Yeah, it looks like they got command, because they got the two stars. Um, are you in cover? You're in cover. Um, what about you? Are you within command range of everybody? You sure are. Um, the Gavardia need to move up to a place where they can help cover, which would be right there. Um, you need to, you're already in the house I want you to be in, and you're going to move into the house I want you to be in. Okay, so that's our left. Um, some of these guys are probably still moving where I wanted them to go. Um, okay, so I want you to be here. And I want the Vredzveka um, to offload. Oh, uh, did they already offload? No, they have not. Offload. Oh, they must have already been in the process of doing something because they're not letting me do it. Or I can't do that while they're, they're paused. You guys are good. Uh, Gavardia need to move up. 
We'll tell them to go here. Um, Anti-tank gun's probably still doing its thing. It's your command. Okay, you're still doing that. Okay. I'm going to take it nice and slow, make sure we're doing what we need to do. We got our planes coming in. We got our anti-aircraft cover on that side. So if we need to, we can. Um, what's going on over here? Oh, there's a setting you can put your anti-tank guns on. Um, efficient shot. That way they'll only take a shot if they have a chance of penning. Do the same over here. Um, do you have good sight line? I need to, I think, push this guy. We're going to put him on a vision shot, but we're going to push him over here. So I can cover uh, the right side, because it looks like the enemy um, are going heavy on this side. Um, I also need to have you guys set to Q move. So that you do your thing. Um, what else we got? You're doing that. You're still moving. I forgot to offload you. Okay, I didn't I didn't order these guys. So unload. 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 Okay, we don't really have any vision over here. Okay. Oh, we also need to set these guys on efficient shot. Efficient shot. Command is there and set. Oh, okay, so... Th is this our armored car? Let's put it there. We get a little bit of machine gun fire going. Um, yeah, that's what that is. So you guys go there. Um, vehicle. Uh, hang out here. Um, what else is going on? You guys are still moving. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. So we got an armored car here. Uh, we're probably going to want to put that in some semblance of cover. Um... Let's put it in behind this house right here. I've got a tank rolling up, so I don't want that to get, just get popped. I think we're pretty well set up here. And these dudes are still moving. And did I tell you to go in here? Um, what about that dude by the big building? Where is that building? Oh, he's already in it. Good. Excellent. I like our setup. Uh, we'll have a tick here soon. Okay, so uh, we've got a fighter bomber here, which I'm going to try and knock out. First. And then we'll switch to the recon plane. Oh. They're dropping something on my troops. Um, I'm assuming this is the armored car after it's dropped the dudes off. We're going to put that... Uh, we're gonna, where are we going to put that? Um, I guess... Over here. Um, we also didn't off offload this guy. Okay. This dude has offloaded. We're going to put him in this building. What happened to our command? Did we not send command with those dudes? I could have swore we sent command with those dudes. Oh, it was these guys we sent command with, right? Okay, let's start these guys marching up the wood. 
This guy hasn't offloaded yet. Or has he? Oh, no, he has. Um, you, I would like to come over here. And you, I'd like to come over here. We can shoot stuff at stuff that cries to cross that uh, crossroad. Hey, Doom. Um, okay. We're being the commies again. Sorry. Uh, I feel like I've got everything set up here. Let's watch our aircraft do their thing. So they just took out my anti-aircraft fire, which sucks. Um, you're in the house that I set you in? Yeah. So we got to make that guy pay by knocking him out. We're fairly fast, so I think we'll catch him. Get him, get him, get him. Don't let him escape. Die! Scumbag! Got him. Okay. Both of these guys take out their recon plane. Okay, so these guys are set on efficient shot, so they won't take a shot unless they... Well, first off, he's, he's out of line of sight, but... You know, I was going to send that over there. Um, let's, uh, let's not. Because it looks like they are sending stuff down this road. Let's send these guys up a little bit. Okay, and you have unloaded. Go ahead and put you in this building. I forget, where was I sending you? I guess I hadn't really decided, huh? Um, we'll put them in here. And then this armored car will also sit back here. And then if we get an opportunity to get some supporting fire, we'll get it. Um, so we do... Do we have any flak hitting us? No. So they have, like, no anti-aircraft cover. So as long as we can keep these fighters doing their thing... Um, we'll be good. As a matter of fact, I might buy some fighter bombers with our next tick. Okay, here they come. Uh, managed to do some pretty heavy damage, and he's down. Okay, let's, uh, hold on. Uh, I see some infantry. Let's go strafe them. Okay. Um... Why don't you guys... What's your range on your thing? I, I honestly don't know how to check that. What, how? Oh, you can see them. So if it comes down to firing, they'll be able to do it. Okay, you guys start marching towards this wood. You guys uh, start marching over here. And you guys uh, march here. And I'm going to set you to return fire. Um, may want to do that with some of my other units as well. The return fire thing. In particular... Um, may want to do it for these guys, but I may, I may miss the opportunity, so I, I don't know. Um, you're set up. I'm just trying to make sure that I have everything that I want set up here. Making sure I didn't miss anything here. I think so far we've achieved what we're looking for. Uh, they'll have total defeat in 32 minutes. I mean, granted, I know I'm going very slow here, but I'm trying to take it nice and easy for our first engagement. We also can fire mortars at these dudes. This guy's kind of damaged. We'll probably have him evac as soon as he does this strafe. Okay, he can go. We're just pinning down the infantry because it's all the infantry we can see right now. Uh, what's going on? Oh, um, so I think our, our, uh, yeah, our anti-tank gun is fi taking shots at these guys from the side. Okay, um, what I would like, let's move this infantry unit, um, a little bit. That's probably fine. Um, I would like some anti-tank uh, guns here. So I think the Partisans are the ones that have it. Um, it looks like they've got a tank push coming here. So I want to 
Oh, these guys are only infantry. I forgot. So you want to set them up at the beginning of the fight. My bad. Um, all right, we'll get a fighter bomber. Uh, that would be this dude. And then we can afford one more thing. Um, what can we even afford? Maybe one of these Studebakers to resupply my mortars in case they need it. So we're going to go ahead and send that over here. Okay, so... We're probably going to have to resume before it... Yeah, there we go. Okay, uh, where do we want the fighter bomber to hit? We could go after the tank here. Uh, because there's a good likelihood it will go after my anti-tank gun. And if that goes down, we'll be a little bit in trouble. So we're going to go ahead and use our fighter bomber on that. Um, one thing I want to do real quick uh, while I'm thinking about it. Uh, options. Uh, we want evac Winchester off. I have to find that, though. Um, yeah. Automatic Winchester evacuation? No. Um, what that does is when they drop bombs... Um, they immediately leave. You don't want that. Uh, I mean, it... Oh. Uh... Ah! Automatic, yeah. No. Apply. There we go. Okay. And hey, uh... Twitch Stewie. Now this is our, uh... Oh, one of our armored cars got destroyed. Where where did that happen? Um, maybe. Ah, yeah, there it is. This got blown up. Looks like this tank here. Um, we don't really have anti-tank guns in this area. I'm now noticing I have a big hole in my line. Okay, uh, so we need to start getting units in here on our next engagement, if we can. I, I didn't realize I didn't have any anti-tank gun. I mean, technically we have this anti-tank gun, which can see that area. So if this tank does drive down this way, why is that anti-tank gun where it is? Is it not moving? Oh no, that's a machine gun. Oh, oh it should be moving. Um, but the anti-tank gun... Do I not have an anti-tank gun over here? I do not. All right. <laughs> um, do I have an anti-tank gun on my list? Support group. No. I could have swore I put an anti-tank gun in this in this middle area. I have one over here. Okay. Well, we're going to have to do something about that. All right. They got a mortar here. As a matter of fact, I'm going to change my bomb to that. Yeah, this guy's backing off. This guy is, um... Ah, finally got him. Yeah, we're going to bomb that guy. Okay, this guy can evac. One of our objectives was lost, but that's okay. I mean, we are we already have most of the objectives. Okay, there goes the bombs. And then we're going to switch. They've got a lot of tanks. Try and strafe these guys, maybe. No, you know what? We'll strafe them. Yeah, they're, uh... I'm missing what we're, we're losing here. Alright, we lost a unit over here, it looks like. Oh, we lost our anti-tank gun. Yeah, this is kind of the problem. This is what I was worried about. I was worried that they would hit us with a lot of tanks. And we, we had very limited anti-tank weapons. Well, if we're lucky, they don't see our infantry here, and we'll get some anti-tank grenades off on them. Uh, but we need to start getting uh, the anti- The anti-tank rifles I didn't buy, but they will take forever to get here. I'm not sure how we're going to win on this one. 
if they have a lot of tanks in force like this. Let's just have this guy evac so you can get him back with bombs. Actually, no, that was a mistake. Um, we do have an anti-tank gun here, so we did do extra layers of defense here. Are they shooting mortars at my anti-aircraft gun? Oh, um, these guys need to back up. Because they can be seen. Let's move up a little bit, because they don't really have tanks in this area. Um, let's move this guy up aggressively to help here. Oh, we did have command in the area. I uh, got confused. Let's put the command here, so it's not seen easily. Are you still firing? I'd like you to fire here, please. Alright. So a lot of it goes down to this this anti-tank gun and this anti-tank gun to do good work for us. We have another one clear over here, uh, which honestly I'm almost thinking about moving at this stage. Bringing it over here. Because I really don't have any tanks over here, so you know we're going to take the long path over to here. Up on this ridge. Because I really just do not have tanks over here. Okay. So we do have nine points. Question is, what can we buy with it? I mean, I, I don't have tanks. Um, I'm out of infantry. I honestly feel like we should get these guys. I don't know how long it will take them to get here. But we need to plug the line uh, somewhere, right? So, um, send this one over here. Um, we have kind of a hole in the middle here. So we're going to grab another anti-tank gun. Put it over here. And uh, infantry. Well, we've got all the partisan infantry. We can start looking to get in here. I think I made a mistake when I set up my units. I should have uh, offloaded as much partisan as I could uh, early on uh, because I, I guess I didn't think about it. They make really good defensive units, but it'll take them forever to get into the battle now. So, yeah, I put higher quality units um, in to start off. But, what? Where are the one with the... Yeah, I want these guys, actually. I kind of wish it wouldn't it wouldn't work like this. It's really annoying to set up units, especially if you want to do multiples. But lesson learned, if I'm using Parsons in the future, they do not have vehicles. So... When you're a defensive position like this, you want to place them first. And then go from there. Okay. One more. We'll do it. Um, put them here, I guess. All right. And then more aircraft, maybe. Okay. All right, the tank guns are doing their job. Maybe put the anti... Uh, no. Shh, shoot. That's the wrong thing. Yeah, put them there. Then you need to follow them.
we really need to move our anti-tank gun at some point, but I, I kind of, like, can't. Um, because we need the anti-tank uh, fire here. We got infantry out in the open. Yeah, I need to move this infantry because they're going to take casualties if I don't. Let's move them down here. Come on, anti-tank gun. You can do it. Oh, we got a Yak-9 ready to go. Um, let's have them help out this tank. We'll, sh we'll, sh we'll strafe them. Oh, the tank's dead. Um, all right, never mind. We'll have them... Uh, where do we want to strafe? Let's strafe this guy. Not really sure what it's firing at. Oh, is it firing at the machine gun? Yeah. Let's have them uh, fall back. Let's put these guys here. Yeah, the, the partisan machine guns got taken out. All right, so we got more things here. I'm going to go ahead and just focus on my fighters from on out. We're going to get a fighter bomber. Uh, this fighter bomber is also ready. Um, let's go after the guy with the mortar here. And then you are going to... Did we kill all the tanks? Now we have a tank here. Let's let's strafe that. And then we're gonna drop another set of bombs on this dude. Not sure who we're firing at there. Let's have you move here. And you move there. Coming in to strafe these guys. Our bombers coming in to take out their mortars. Okay. Our mortar. It's kind of out of range. So we'll have it move over this way. Yeah, have this guy come in. Strike here. We have another tank in here. Let's have these guys back off. Because the tanks is just going to annihilate them otherwise. And we need the anti-tank gun to help us out. Let's have these guys strafe infantry. We can get some infantry support there. Fall back. Okay. You can evac. You can evac. We took out, I think, their mortar. Um, let's get another mortar in here. Ah, so um, I want it to be here. Um, we're going to grab, uh, oh, we don't have enough for another fighter, huh? Oh, we'll wait on that. Um, you. going to kind of overwatch here. Let's, uh, strafe that dude. And strafe this. Oh, it's knocked out. Let's strafe the tank. We're just going to keep them pinned down, more or less. Infantry is showing up. To solidify the line. Uh, I did send that one anti-tank gun um, to move in here. And it's moving there. It'll get there eventually. This guy needs to back off. As a matter of fact, we're not giving command to our dude. Okay, we need to strafe these tanks so that our anti-tank... Ah, another one of our anti-tank guns went down.
That was a bummer. The tank kind of have free reign right now. Um, let's go ahead and call in some more support um, from our partisans. So uh, we want... Uh, we called in all our anti-tank stuff, huh? Uh, we're just going to get the infantry in here, right? As much as we can. They really need to work on this interface, though. This is super annoying to have to do it this way. I mean, I probably could do, like, multiples like that. But I, I don't know if I really like it that way. But we're going to just fill in this hole with just bodies. It's going to take them some time to get there, but... Um, we do have infantry out in the open that we probably should punish here. So let's do so. Um, our anti-tank gun got hit, so uh, this aircraft should really just focus on the infantry, I think. As we're kind of light on the ground right now. Might want to get our anti-air out of there. All right, let's get another um, fighter bomber here. Um, not sure where we want to send it just yet. Let's take a look. We don't have really any action here. We have decent action here. Nothing going on over here. So this is the, the where the tide we have to stem. Um, let's grab that and bomb this this uh, Panzer T seventy. Punish that infantry. Let's have this guy switch targets to the one that's not suppressed. Okay, these guys are going to evac because they're out of ammo. Okay, fighter bomber coming in. Our armored cars got knocked out. Where did that happen? Um, not over here. Ah, it happened in here somewhere. Oh, I didn't realize I had one of those armored cars right there. Whoops. Um, we also have an infantry problem right now. Um, we have our fighter bombers on the call. So one there. And one there, please. We'll use our air cover to kind of, like, hurt these guys. Okay, anywhere else we're being hit? Sure, we hit this guy. Switch to this. Okay, Gavardi are firing on the infantry. Let's uh, keep strafing the armored car. We don't want it to really get its guns working. Oh, we got uh, we got some action here. What's coming at us? We'll use our fighter bombers to try and fight that off. But we got more points to work with, so we're gonna grab a. I mean, I think we should just keep grabbing the the fighter bombers while they're there, because we can really use their support. So we're going to go ahead and drop a bomb on this dude. Okay, 
Yeah, we got some heavy fighting in here. Oh, there's our mortar. Let's tell him to unload and we'll start firing in here. Okay. I want you to fire. Um, where do we fire? I guess in the recon. Let's have the Gavardia just back up a bit. Okay, we have no anti-tank guns over here anymore. So it's just up to our infantry. I mean, honestly, they can push on me pretty hard if they want to. Um, let's hit this tank, slow it down. Dropping bombs on the armored carrier. Please knock it out. Or at least pin it. Yeah, we got it. Let's strafe these guys. Did we just knock out that tank? Wow. Um, we're getting mortared here. Let's move the machine gun back. Was it just the autocannon that took it out? That's interesting. Okay, we gotta push... No, these guys have been sitting there. Um... Let's have you swirling around and hit this infantry. Actually, swing around and hit this guy. Yeah, we're like knocking these du dudes out with our, our cannons. Alright, let's have these guys evac. Have you come here? Boris, ложись! Oh, uh, we've got Yak Nines ready. I don't know why they keep sending recon planes out. That doesn't really do them much good. Yeah, our infantry's gotten, getting stomped here a little bit. Let's back them up. I think we've held pretty well here, all things considered. I don't know why I'm not mortaring here. There goes a Yak-9. Oh, we got more fighter bomber time. Let's go ahead and grab... another fighter bomber. And where do we want them? We want them right here. Ready. Drop bombs on this dude. You know, if you do are that aggressive, I might be able to anti-tank grenade you. Sanitar. This dude needs to uh, evac. How this recon plane is still there, I don't know, but this Yak-9 should get him. Just hit these guys really hard, and then evac. Come on, get him. Get him before he falls back. I don't think this Yak-9 is going to get where we need him to be, so... Oh, we need help here. Awesome. 
This guy's gonna have a rude awakening. Oh, we got more baddies. Um, what do you got for me? Another recon plane. They're just handing them to me. I'm not really sure where this dude's firing right now. You can see over here? Oh, maybe you're hitting this. Um, let's have the Optimuk Cheeky try and uh, ambush these dudes. They're relying on these uh, armored cars very heavily. Oh wow, we have another another recon plane here. And we've got enough for another fighter bomber. Which we're gonna use on what? Maybe this. Yeah, knocked out my anti-air. Oh, did they shoot down one of my my yaks there? Oh, this is a fighter. Oh, we gotta make him pay for that. Get him. Okay. Um. They knocked out one of my fighters. Hopefully my anti-aircraft gun is able to finish that one off. Let's switch to this. Got him. Come back. Actually, both of these guys can evac. Let's try and hit this guy because he's already damaged. Okay, we got a fighter bomber ready. Let's uh, send him in there. Okay, that one's knocked out. Let's see if we can knock the other one out. We do have another mortar in here. Speaking of which, I have mortars. Um, not in range of anything, though. Uh, what about this mortar? Hey, you can help out here. This guy's been kind of pinned here for a while. Okay, you're evacing. Uh, you can evac, too. Okay. Get another fighter in here. Um... Sure, a couple Yak 9s won't hurt. Um, we'll just use them to strafe. Oh, we got something coming in. Perfect timing. Oh, it's a fighter. So we have to pay attention to that so it doesn't shoot us down. And then we got another recon plane. Okay, we've got some pretty heavy action going on in here. Um... So this guy's, we're having fighting here. Um, probably start mortaring in this area. Or maybe mortar here instead. Um, our infantry, the partisans, are starting to show up. Which is good. Uh, Six-man squad going there. Look at all that all that imagery support. All right, you guys need to come in here and help out because they're doing a big push here. And you know what? It wouldn't hurt. Getting some more partisans. Put one there. And the aircraft gun is opening up. Oh, that's right. We had this going on. Let's reroute. These uh, Yak-9s are not going to catch this. 
and you already did the job. Uh, we'll have you evac. Down they go. Um, let's strafe the tank. You got a lot of action in here, though. Uh, we do have a fighter bomber ready. Um, let them help out here. I'm trying to think who we should blow up. Maybe that one. Uh, Gavardi, uh, Gavardia got killed. Uh, if you come too close, you're gonna eat some anti-tank grenades, my friend. Has to be within 100 meters, though. So it has to be really close. Oh, we have some action over here. Oh, we're getting mortared. That's cheeky. Let's see if we can find him. How can they see me? They must have some kind of like, uh, let's have you fall back so you're not uh, just going to get annihilated here. Let's have you go in there. Where is that coming from? Over here somewhere? Let's, uh, let's watch it. I'm going to guess it's over here. So we can do um, fire position. Just guess it's over there. Okay, mortars. Let's fire at this dude. Back off, back off. Uh, these guys are doing a number on me. We're just now into phase B, guys. Part of that's because I'm taking things really slow. Probably don't need to be taking it this slow at this point. Let's speed it up a bit. Let's get some more partisans in here. So I just need to put bodies. Again, this really makes me really annoyed that I have to do it like this. Um, fine, we'll just do it that way. Yeah, they're like attacking me here. What? Where the hell is this dude? Oh. Ugh. All right, we're low on ammo here. We're gonna try our best to try and knock out that fighter. Yeah, I think that's all the in-mission aircraft. Sanitar. Um. Okay, let's get some more fighters in here, I guess. Send this one to bomb. And then this one. Honestly, I don't know what to do. We could have it just to attack that, I guess. Okay, you can evac. You can evac. You can shoot that down. You can shoot that down. You can shoot that down. Okay, you can bomb the tank. Okay, awesome. 
I'm gonna ear strafe that dude. Ah, we found the mortars. Try and knock that dude out. Oh, jeez. Other fighter here. Oh, he's evacuating. Actually, let's tell both of these guys the bomb. We got a lot of stuff ready here. I mean, I'm just going all air for us here. I mean, we've got the air advantage. Why not use it? And we're continuously shooting them down. Another run down. Now, you need to back off, my friend. Oh. It's like they just don't want to live. I told you guys to come over here. I... Wait. Oh, I picked up a, a blitz, uh, Opal Blitz truck. Okay. Um, you know what? You guys, come in here. And help me with the anti-tank job. You guys, come in here. Let's get some more partisans in this in this in this party here. Oh, we don't have any more partisans. We're pretty much out of everything. Except aircraft. Which they keep wanting to send their aircraft to get killed. I'm going to be surprised if we don't just absolutely wreck. I'm, I'm making sure we hit that thing. And then the true fighters are going after their recon plane. Ooh, that's bad. It's a martyr one. We we want to get out of there. Get 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 get. No no no. Oh, that was our our command there. Are we out of uh, ammo? Ah, we are. Um, keep going back here. You guys, I would like to just, you know, you two, come over this way. You, and here, you, go up there. Hit that. I'm going to try and knock this guy out. Because I don't want him to get out. Because he's he's uh, he's in a bomber of some type. Okay. All of you guys attack that. Okay. 
Okay, uh, mortars, can you hit this, please? Yes, yes. Okay. Um, those of you out of ammo need to evac, but everybody else... Yeah, uh, we're still going strong in this battle. I've, I've taken it pretty much nice and slow here. Let's try and knock out this martyr. I'm overwhelming them with my air power. I have so many freaking planes at this point. Um, we are just dominating the skies. Oh, that's bad. My partisan are about to get annihilated. I need you to come over here and help me here. I need, I need uh, help right now. Otherwise, my partisans will get annihilated. Good. I think we got the martyr, maybe? Okay, hold on. You need to evac. You guys need to come in and maybe hit that thing. There we go. Yeah, I like it too, and for somebody like me that's not, I, I would say, not the most skilled with RTSs, I'm more of a turn-based guy, uh, it lets me be able to get in there and control things uh, very precisely if I want. Um, oh, look at that. Sending more planes to the slaughter. Get you. Um, you are going to peel off there. You're, you're getting out. Uh, we probably have more planes ready to go, so you can come out to play. You can come out to play. Yeah. Oh, you guys need to, like, get into a better spot. Like, honestly, I don't have anything to spend my points on other than fighters. It's crazy. Um, but we can just strafe guys whenever we see them. Uh, and as we can see, like, the guns on these planes are, are really good to the point that they can knock out a lot of these armored vehicles fairly easily. Um, I mean, just look at this ridiculousness here. I mean, these guys are just... Um, yeah, and there goes another armored vehicle. I mean, we've actually knocked out tanks with these planes. That's how crazy this is. We're now at plus 15. Let's just go full play here. I don't... I know they're moving in the center here. Oh, we've got this uh, anti-tank squad. We probably want to put them over here. Uh, we've got all this infantry coming in. You guys can probably just go there. Um, and these guys will... Uh, the partisans are just going to throw their bodies at them. But we're going to take all these planes... That we've got flying around here and we're just gonna absolutely try and annihilate these guys um we also have the mortar to help here that's right we're out of he shells where did that one uh, opel blitz get what we need to do is we need to tell the opal blitz um to get over to where our mortar is which is over here uh we can also put our own supply truck out uh where was that probably under motor yeah we got oh we need points we'll wait for that Hey, you're not doing anything. Get in here and strike these guys. Oh, we got another uh, plane coming in. Um, so we've got some planes that are ready to go. Let's bomb here. Um, let's spend another one, but we're going to do fire position. We'll just say in this wood. Um, we got some fighters that are ready to go. Let's try and kill that. Um, everybody else that is in mission, um, which is you. Yeah, we need to take out their bombers before they do anything. Uh, we also have a fighter coming in that we're going to want to knock out. But it's a heavy fighter, so it has a hard time hanging with our lighter fighters. So, we're doing quite well here. You're in mission. Let's have you come after that. You're in mission. Go after that. All right. Let's have that play out. And... These guys are kind of out in the open, which is not ideal. Hey, you're going to evac for me because you're out of ammo. 
Let's have them move up. But my Parsons finally got in the woods here, so we should be able to do good work once we get in there. And then we've got the bombs coming in. Let's have you fire position over here, too. Okay, guys that are ammo need to get out of here. But we can just keep a constant swarm of, 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 of guys up in the air. Um, now we do have maybe some movement here, but we've got our armored cars to keep an eye on things. Over here. We have armored cars over here that can have eyes on things. Uh, we can mortar the crap out of the guy. Yeah, I mean, once this swarm of partisans gets in here... Oh, what are you doing? Back. Back. That was a mistake. I must have clicked somewhere on accident. Let's have you guys actually help here. Yeah, I think we did a good job of holding the line here. Here come the Parsons to, to annihilate these guys. If we can get them nice and close, we might be able to get the uh, Molotovs off. So I'm going to go ahead and rush in here with these guys, get them nice and close. They'll get surrendered here as soon as we get in contact with them. Okay, we got some more fighting going on up here. Um, everybody that's in mission uh, needs to get in here and fight this guy. Let's go after the bomber first. Fighters can go after the fighter. Some of these guys are just about to run out of fuel. Uh, you are already told something to do. Um, you can go there. You can go there. You can go there. You can go there. And we still have more fighters to put out. This is just ridiculous, honestly. How many fighters we have. Um, we've got bombs. Where to bomb? I mean, honestly, I don't think they have much presence. I mean, there's something here. Um, sure, just guess. Yeah, I think that was everybody we could send. Although we have, as soon as we unpause, there'll be more here. Um, just send them out on mission. See if we can knock out some of this stuff. I don't think that bomber is going to live. Yeah, yeah. All right. So all these guys need to just keep moving. And we'll just partisan wave them to death. Then you guys can uh, help strafe here. You can help strafe. You can help strafe. <laughs> All these fighters in the air, it's ridiculous. Let's see if we can find like where these dudes are. Obviously we don't wanna to get too close to them and get hit by a Panzer Shrek or something, but And we're still in phase B. There's A, B, C. We're only in B here. I mean, our partisans are taking heavy casualties, but, I mean, we're annihilating the infantry here. Yeah, so there's something in here. We just tell them to move in. These guys are cut off. If we get close enough to them, we will, uh... Oh, we got more we're more action in the air. Um, all you dudes. First, attack that. Then you. Attack that. We got a bunch of fighters back here. Attack their fighter. Attack their fighter. Attack their fighter. We got more fighters to send in. Send them in. There's one. Uh, it's a bomber. Fire position. I think that's T is the keybind for that. It doesn't say, but I'm pretty fairly certain it's T. Let's let's check that. Yeah, T. T seems right. We'll learn the keybinds as we go. Of 
Poor guy. You can get out. You're out of ammo. Both of them just got annihilated. I mean, are we really surprised? You need to stop shooting over there because you're going to shoot my own men. You're damaged. Get out. You guys need to you move. Oh, are we getting attacked over here? Oh, we killed somebody. Um, have you come over this way? I mean, honestly, we're just we're just finding their infantry and killing them. Um, so we got 15 minutes, and then they're defeated. At this stage, um, I just uh, attack these guys. Um, we got more to send out. These guys may get out before I'm able to do a whole lot here. Look how many are in mission. Um, let's make sure we focus not on the fighter here, but on the bombers. Okay, that guy's out. Knock him out. Or he gets out. Now knock him out. Poor guys. The enemy is just getting annihilated here. Okay, evac. Um, anybody look damaged? That guy's already evacing. Alright, I mean, we have a lot of the points. I mean, there's only this, like two that we don't have. I mean, we could go for an infantry push here. To get the ones we don't have. Um, oh, more action. Um, we got fighters over here that aren't doing anything. Have them go attack this dude. Have you come attack this dude. A couple fighters over here that aren't doing anything. Alright. One of them's on, uh, out of ammo here. Be back. You're out of ammo and damaged. Get out of there. Okay, uh, maybe infantry push to try and get the, um, the point here. We've got some support. Maybe we can do it. And we, we can use the fighters and stuff to help us if we need it. But I, I figure what we do is we just try and take out... Um, ah, we got, a, we got a tank coming in. Try and knock it out with our fighters. I mean, again, our cannons seem to be very effective at knocking these things out. And if not, we've got some bombers to bomb it. I mean, these are not heavy bombs, but it seems like every little bit counts. Um, yeah, that's probably good enough. Oh, we got more fighter action coming in. Oh, it's just a martyr, which is probably one of the reasons why we're knocking them out so easy. Um, let's send the Yak-9 out. We'll grab these two planes and have them go after. Have you go after. And then these guys, they'll just continue their straight run. Yep, dead. Yeah, this guy's not going to live long. Okay, you're out of ammo. Yeah, sure. I mean, honestly, uh, oh, yeah, here we go. We got an infantry engagement. Um, really quickly, though, let's grab all of our dudes that are in mission and give us some support here. You're in mission. Get over here and start shooting stuff. Um, you're ready. Get in there. We need to have a constant barrage of planes in the air. As a matter of fact, we can get even more planes in the air if we want to. 
Um, and I see no reason why not. On two. On two, three, four, do, 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 do. I mean, that's literally all we have left to spend money on. I mean, we've got a con you know, couple things here and there. Um, but, yeah. We've got this guy coming up. I'm just trying to take the last of the couple points. I'm going to kind of throw my men at that, but... Um, where do I have armored cars? Is there any... Ah, okay, we've got all these partisans. Let's have them come up here. All right, let's take a look. Um, I don't really know what the camera commands are. Ah, we can get really nice and close. Um, let's let's watch it from their perspective. Oh, no. Uh, I was selected on somebody and hit buttons. I shouldn't have hit. I think we'll be all right. Let's slow-mo. Watch this fight from their perspective. I don't know how to tilt the can. Oh, there we go. We're also firing over here. What are they firing at over here? Oh, we got a flamethrower squad. Let's see who the enemy as the fire comes in. That was a nice song. Or whatever he was giving us. We got enemy aircraft. Um, yeah. Let's have you come over here. You come over here. You come over here. You guys come over here. There we go. Nice strafe mission there. You're just here to support. Come on up. Those bombs may have dropped. Yeah, they did drop. Owie. Let's have these guys fall back. Fall back. Okay. Whoa. More fighters. Um, I want you to strafe the dude here that's not pinned down, please. Oh, we got a whole bunch of stuff over here. Owie. Owie, owie. <laughs> Poor Russian guy. I think a couple of my guys maybe got distracted from what we were doing here. What I need to do is I need to get my fighter bombers and just bomb the crap out of um, this location. And hey, Syntex. I, I don't think I said hi to you earlier. Alright. Uh, how did our Parsons do? They're still on their way. You should probably just chill where you are, right there. Oh, more fighters. Um, let's get some of our fighters in this mission. Because I really don't want to eat these bombs, which are probably already dropped. Oh, jeez. You can evac. All right, um, let's send more fighters out on their mission. Uh, we also have a bad guy over here we want to take care of. What do you got there? Panzer 2C? Holy crap. Let's pause here a second while we send all these guys out on missions. You are going to go out. You are going to go out. You are going to go out. I wonder if there's a way to, like, click multiples. Oh, there is. Cool. Awesome, just shift clicking, nice and easy. And we have got a bomb mission, which I'm going to do fire position. We know there's infantry in here. That's fire position right there. I kind of don't want this engagement, but we do have a machine gun backing us up. We happen to know there's a bunch of crap over here, but um, they are over there on the ridge. Maybe if we come over here, we can do the push that I want to do. Although, let's keep one infantry group back. Um, Let's have you guys stay and you guys go up here. We also have this dude, which we can send up here. 
Um, partisans are still on their way. We have the Partisans over here. I mean, they really don't have any other command points. It's just that one. Well, two. This one and this one. And we're trying to get them. Let's see you watch this fight. Let's see the Panzer, uh... What are these guys? Panzer Grenadiers, maybe? Also, do I have the mortar in range? I kind of forgot I had a mortar. Um, did you finally get reloaded? No, because you didn't move up far enough. We should also get another mortar in here, which I kind of forgot about. Um, oh, or fighters. Or actually, it's a bomber. We got action over here, too. Already shot him down. Let's get our uh, strafing runs down. Oh, you need to fall back, my friend. You need to not do that. You need to start strafing here. Come on, all you guys. If you have ammo, you need to strafe the crap out of these guys. Um, you can evac because you don't have any ammo. Um, okay. Quick. Fire position in this wood. Yeah, I kind of didn't want these guys to get annihilated like they're getting. Are you guys not in range? Can you come over here, maybe? <laughs> We're just giving them hell here. Oh, hello. Um, fighters, all the fighters that are in here. I kind of just want to select the aircraft. There we go. That's one way to do it. You go there. You go there. You guys get rid of the infantry. That's good. I mean, we're kind of figuring out how the interface works here. Kill this guy. I'm surprised they still have planes to send, but I mean, we had a lot of planes, I guess. Let's get a supply truck in here. Poor guy. Getting swarmed. Alright, let's get you up here. Let's get you in here. Um, Partisans, you didn't do what I asked you to do like a while ago. Ah, we could have done stuff, Partisans. You screwed me, Partisans. I love the song. Uh, let's just have you unload. Hey, you need to just bombard the crap out of this area constantly. I mean, it looks like they automatically, like, engage the enemy to a certain extent. What we do need to do here is you, you, you guys on need to T fire position. And you, 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 you just need to be out on here so we have planes active and ready. So we're going to mortar this. We should also probably start dropping bombs down here because we know the enemy's over here. And knock this guy out.
I mean, we're really not getting any more enemy uh, sending being sent after us, and I'm just going to assume that's because they are only infantry and they have no support, so they're not really pushing. I mean, I know there's a bunch of vehicles in here. Matter of fact, let's have you just move, keep moving here. I mean, we've got armored cars that could probably do fine here. To knocking that kind of stuff out. Because I think they're completely out of vehicles. They have infantry out in the open. Okay. Go after the bomber first. Go after the fighter next. Okay. Oh, we got a vehicle. Try and knock it out. Okay, we need to get fighter bombers back in. Um, again, I'm just going to keep hitting this forest because we know there's bad guys here. Um, and then other things that are ready, like this guy and this guy, need to help knock this out. And we've got that guy we already sent out. There and there. Okay. Parsons are probably going to get hard, hit hard here, but it looks yeah, like we got some support. Did their job. We will have action here. Okay, you need to help out here. Okay. Mortar needs to stop firing where it is. Yeah, that objective is secured. Um, we've got stuff and things. Um, let's have both of these guys fire position in here. Um, get rid of the infantry. There's probably a quick way to do this kind of stuff. Um, so that you're only selecting the planes, but I don't know what it is yet. <laughs> Um, we need to get more fighters in here as well. Although, I think we're tapped out at the moment. Some of them are probably flying around. around. Yeah, there we go. Have these guys go after that guy. Looks like we've got a mortar attacking our dudes. Um, let's have you come up into this wood. So our Parsons did their job. Oh. Ah, they had another martyr. Um, shoot. We need to grab planes then and knock it out. Uh, pause. Not that, not that, not that. Come over here and knock this out, please. Oh, the 50 cal messed it up a bit. I have a feeling this is going to be a foregone conclusion, though. We need to keep that vision, though, before the, so the plane's going to get in. Ah, wow, that took it out by itself. Oh, hello. They just keep sending them in. And I just keep knocking them down. Uh, you need to help out there. You need to help out here. All you guys need to knock that out. Okay. Oh, I guess it's over. Yeah, total victory. I think uh, we may have done some pretty heavy casualties to them. <laughs> Just a little bit. Um... So what were team stats? So 390 kills versus 21 losses. I'm not sure that's man power here. Let's let's see. Chronology kills. So yeah, fighters were able to do a lot here. Our anti-tank guns got knocked out, a lot of them. I think we had one that lived. But as you can see, they did quite a lot here.
Um, losses, yeah, as I said, we lo lost a lot of our anti tank guns. Experience, yeah, yeah. Um, I guess we'll hit save. Uh, although I, I feel like we could save at any time, but we'll just say uh, stream one. Confirm. All right. I assume we can save on the campaign map. And then finally, it's going to be our turn. So that was them attacking. They, they moved their stuff to do it. Um, our action points got depleted from the fight. But I think that's going to be it for their turn. Falls to Soviet troops. Yeah. Primary objective, capture Marina Gorka on July 4th at the latest. So you guys can actually see the objective. Yeah, so there's our handsome face again. All right. This means they've dug in. That's something we probably can do. I don't know how many action points it costs, though. Now it's my turn. So I think partisans are an exception. Partisans may only get one action point per turn, but most other units that are ground units are going to get back two action points a turn, maximum of three. The exception to that is also recon units. So you see this guy has four. I think recon units get back three per turn. So... Uh, if you do the math on that, you have three action points, but you only get back two. So you're going to have to save some. I also think you have to keep one. I, I don't know if you can see it. Well, there's this like zone of control here. You have to have at least one action point to exert that. Otherwise, you'll have this dash, dashed line like this. I don't know necessarily the significance of that yet. It's not something I think the manual got into a lot. Um, but as far as like what we've got going on, I'm just going to go over this very, very quickly because we are way over my normal stream time, but we will pick this up in the next stream. So you don't worry about that. And hopefully I can pick up the pace in the future as I get more acclimatized to the uh, combats and stuff. So we have a number of partisan units. So this guy was already in that, but we also have other partisan units. Uh... This guy's out of supply because he's within enemy control. Uh, one turn being out of supply offers uh, no penalties. Two turns, there we go, two turns halves your action points. And uh, I think it's the halves the action points you get back. It may ha have your overall action points. I'm not 100% on that. And then the third turn makes your unit route, which is obviously bad. Um, so you don't want to be out of supply too long. Partisans may be an exception to that. It's not something the manual got into. Um, and by the way, when you talk, when I'm talking about manual, you hit escape, you hit manual. There's kind of like a brief introduction to how this worked. I, I, I kind of read through it as much as I could quickly. Um, but that's, you know, the general idea here. So as far as what we have, have to do, as far as our objectives, we need to cut off uh, Babrusk here. And... What we're going to want to use is this unit here, just kind of go along this road uh, and try and beat the guys here that are dug in. If we can, if we can smash them here, uh, we'll cut them off. Um, the other objective, though, we have to do is we have to hold here to prevent these guys from breaking out and, and getting to the rest of their line. So that's that's kind of our dual uh, initial objective. And then our ultimate objective is to capture Marina Gorka over here. So that's everything that's out on our table. And uh, to move things around, it's pretty simple. So let's say we click on this recon unit. We can see everything that the recon unit can move to. If I hover over an area, you'll see kind of like how many action points it costs you. So this is kind of fractional action points. So it's still, I'm going to have three action points left, but you'll note that there's like a more and more full bar. So at this point, I'm kind of getting the limits of where that third action point can get me, or I can, I can go and still have three action points left. So one action point would get me this far. Um, so I could move all the way over here if I wanted to and still have one action point left. Uh, as far as like, for example, this tank unit, um, I'm going to need at least one action point to be able to attack. So, like, let's say I wanted to attack this guy. I'd want to move, like, right up to him. And then maybe I could attack. Let's let's see. I'm not going to actually attack, but let's see kind of, like, how that would work. So, uh, let's say we move him here. So, right-click. He still has one action point left. This guy we could probably initiate the combat with. But let's say we move him up here for now. And then this guy, we're going to move... He's not really going to get anywhere and have enough action points left over, so we're just going to full move him. So let's say we right-click on this dude. 
this would show us if we attacked right now what would happen and a lot of this is down to how close something is how many actions it would have left over when it got there so this guy only has one action point and he still has to travel a bit so he's not going to get there until the c phase remember a b c phase during the, the combat whereas our recon unit still has plenty of action points left over so it would be able to get into this fight in phase a um but i there's also going to be supporting units on the enemy side kind of similar and i don't really know what's going to commit until i commit um so if i commit my act my recon squad and it's not enough to deal with this this infantry regiment i'm going to be a lot of trouble so we have that kind of to contend with. We also have bombers, which I am going to use. We can use them to bombard. And what this will do is it'll reduce action points. So let's say we don't want this uh, panzer uh, unit here to be able to really move in and attack our defense lines. So we'll bombard them. That will remove all their action points, which is great for us. We also have this motorized unit here. We don't really want them to be able to do anything either. So we'll go ahead and go in here and bombard them. Kind of keep them locked in. So they're not really going to be moving and helping out as much uh, in this turn. We could probably destroy this unit, which is routed with our motorized unit, if we wanted to get really aggressive. But again, we have to worry about maybe some other units that we can't see because there is fog of war. We have to surely have to move stuff in and get good recon on it to be able to know what's here. Uh, but yeah, more or less, what I want to do is in following turns, let's say we, we ignore this dude for now. Although he may be able to cut us off. But let's say we ignore him for now and we just move up to where we would have maybe one action point left of our own uh it's kind of finicky on your placement but let's say we move in here so there's kind of our, our setup next turn we're a little bit closer we might be able to engage here and smash these guys if we are able to smash these guys we cut them off and everybody in here is going to fall out of supply and as i said how out of supply works one turn it's not a big deal two turns you start having some problems three turns you're routed and you're in a lot of problems so if we can cut these guys off and hold our line we're great one last thing to really talk about before we wrap things up is i have uh resource points here uh command points as they call it uh and i have 50 this turn and i'm gonna get another 30 next turn so how i spend those is i have three units that i can uh deploy uh I have three core, I guess. I have a, a well, I have the first tank core, I have the ninth tank core, and I have the 37th rifle division, all of which I can deploy units from. The 37th rifle division and the first guard uh, tank core are going to deploy here. The ninth tank core will deploy here. So let's just give an example here. So I click available reinforcements. There's none for this. If I look in the future, though, every turn is three hours. So uh, if I look in the future, I could see, okay, in the future, I'll get other reinforcements. So right now I have nothing for the first tank corps, but let's say I go to the 37th rifle division. Well, I've got a 20 point unit and it's going to have all of these units with it. So we've got the 20th rifle regiment, the, and then another other 20th uh, rifle regiment units under that as well. So we click on this guy. And then it shows us our possible uh, deploys. We know it's only going to be over here. So now it's green, letting us know that we could deploy it. We left click. There it is. These units come in with two action points and we can move them onto the map as we need. We have another 30 points left over. We have still the ninth tank core to take a look at. And they have two units. We have the 30.8 uh, 30, uh, 30 motor rifle brigade. And we have the 25.23rd tank brigade. So we get to choose which of these two we want to deploy, and then they would deploy over here. If we don't want to deploy them, we could just save the points for next turn, but I don't see a reason why not to deploy these guys. Um, this is the more expensive one. Doesn't necessarily mean it's the better one. You'd have to click on it and like individually maybe look at each, each unit, what it all has, and whether or not you want to bring them in. But we'll, we'll save that for next time uh, because we have a lot of stuff still to take a look at. Uh, but in any case, I hope you guys have enjoyed. And if you are watching on YouTube, I'll see you next time. Bye.